Hello, I'm Dr. Sasha Goodman, Portfolio Manager and Co-Founder of EatV, a fund focused on the food and material systems transformation. The EatV fund aligns with the goal of limiting the average global temperature increase to below 1.5 degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels. It's rated at 1.18 degrees centigrade as of July 2nd, 2023. This is crucial as it helps mitigate regulatory and legal risks for companies in the fund as governments worldwide enforce more stringent climate policies. The IPCC, representing a scientific consensus of over 195 countries, says global temperatures above 2 degrees Celsius pose risks to human life as we know it on Earth, with severe consequences such as extreme weather events, rising sea levels, flooding, and food shortages. In contrast, the S&P 500 index is currently on track for a 3.87 degrees centigrade increase in global temperatures, well above 2. Investing in EV, rather than the unsustainable S&P 500 index, aligns with climate goals, reduces emissions, and helps steer clear of the catastrophic 3.87 degree global temperature increase that threatens our planet's future. EatV is the only peer play ETF focused on plant-based innovation and technology, aiming to deliver long-term growth of capital and alpha through a diverse portfolio of high-growth global public equities at low-growth prices. EatV is diversified across sectors, supply chain stages, and market capitalizations. Featuring a wide range of asset classes, countries, and categories, EatV is far from niche. EatV is quite diverse and represents many of the players in the imminent shifting food and material supply system. As shown in the chart, consumer food and beverages represent 47.3% of the ETF, with material innovations accounting for 186 The ingredients and flavor technologies capture business-to-business -business exposure, while ag tech and synthetic biology includes technological advancements. EatV is an exchange-traded fund listed on the New York Stock Exchange combining the benefits of a mutual fund with the tradability of stocks. This allows for convenient investment in a diversified portfolio, which can be bought and sold like an individual stock through a broker. ETFs like EatV often provide greater tax efficiency, as investors are usually not exposed to capital gains on individual securities within the portfolio. Taxes instead occur when ETFs are sold or distribute dividends. By investing in EatV, you're supporting a climate-positive investment while seizing the investment opportunity of participating in potential growth due to a system's change. Let me quickly guide you through EatV's strategy of providing a diversified portfolio of high-growth global equities, many with low-growth prices, providing a unique opportunity. The benefits of incorporating sustainable food and material solutions in your portfolio considering the ongoing systems transformation and the performance-oriented strategy and methodology. Next, EatV's carbon neutrality without relying on carbon credits and its potential to reduce the carbon footprint and global warming potential of your portfolio, and how EatV can complement your portfolio as an alternative to large cap and small cap indexes. EatV offers a diverse range of new and emerging technologies in a convenient, diversified package. Primarily, it invests in companies directly or indirectly involved in creating a nutritious, efficient, and sustainable food supply system, as well as material innovations that focus on eco-friendly alternatives. EatV spans traditional sectors like consumer staples and materials, encompassing categories such as ag tech, synthetic biology, ingredients and flavor technology, and consumer food and beverages. This ETF includes key players in the ecosystem behind the consumer brands, providing a comprehensive view of the industry. EatV's multi-cap blend diversifies by incorporating small, mid, and large cap companies, providing investors with exposure to a wide range of company sizes for both growth and stability. Unlike large cap indexes such as the S&P 500 index with around 500 US-based companies, or the NASDAQ 100 index featuring about 100 large cap companies, EatV's inclusion of small and mid-cap companies offers an appealing complement or alternative to the popular Russell 2000 index, which comprises about 2,000 small-cap companies. EatV invests globally, reducing regional risk with 28.6% of its companies located outside the U.S. 
Many U.S. domiciled holdings also generate income overseas, further diversifying the fund. This approach can potentially mitigate the negative impact of events that disproportionately affect one region, such as regional financial industry weakness. Geographical diversification also lowers institutional and geopolitical risks. For instance, cultured meat technology has gained U.S. FDA approval and is available for tasting in the Netherlands, Israel, Singapore, and UK, but it remains unapproved in some countries. By investing in countries where cultured meat is legal, EV can be amongst the first to add significant exposure to cultured meat. EV holds over 35 companies, focusing on leaders across the plant-based innovation supply chain. Let's briefly explore a few of the diverse holdings. Consumer staples companies produce popular foods like fruits, vegetables, and proteins. For example, Vitasoy, a Hong Kong-based company, creates plant-based soy, almond, and oat milk catering to the lactose intolerant market. Approximately 68% of the world's population suffers from dairy lactose malabsorption, and Vitasoy addresses this demand. Other notable holdings with strong exposure to plant-based dairy include Oatly and Synopta. Business to business players sell ingredients for plant-based dairy, as well as raw materials for plant-based meats that other businesses can use. Ingredion serves both private and public companies, so this means they can potentially benefit no matter who wins over consumers. Ingredion distributes plant-based ingredients to over 120 countries, investing over 250 million in plant-based protein to date. In 2022, their net sales from plant-based protein reached 36 million, up 118% from the prior year. Material innovations are vital for sustainable supply systems. Consumer discretionary companies like Crocs incorporate plant-based, bio-based polymers into their durable shoes. Material innovations include cosmetics, catering to consumer preferences for cruelty-free and healthier products. Elf Beauty, a consumer staple, has gained shelf space with its affordable, high-quality offerings. The company focuses on clean beauty, restricting over 1,600 ingredients. They capitalize on the low cost of plant-based oils, emollients, and extracts that appeal to value-oriented customers. So why invest in these companies now? Well, technology tends to follow an S-curve, starting slowly, then accelerating as it reaches a tipping point of widespread adoption. By investing early in a long-term technological trend, you may potentially capture significant value Plant-based options have become much more common and varied in supermarkets. With growth seen in plant-based dairy, eggs, and ready-to-drink beverages in 2022 alone. Restaurants and food service in hospitals, schools, universities, and corporate cafeterias are seeking to reduce healthcare costs, provide healthier options, meet consumer demand, and lower their carbon footprint. Younger consumers have adopted this eating pattern with 79% of Gen Y and Z already eating plant-based meats. The plant-based protein market is expected to more than triple by 2030 and rapidly expand by 2035, based on research aggregated by Synthesis Capital. The plant-based protein market is currently around 1% to 2% of the protein market. A related trend is the demand for plant-based material innovations, as consumers seek cruelty-free and climate-friendly products. 71% of consumers said they consciously think about products and packaging made from plant-based materials when they are shopping, according to the Plant-Based Products Council. Alternative proteins are a relatively untapped investment opportunity given their ability to shrink greenhouse gas emissions. The Boston Consulting Group finds that investment in plant-based protein has 11 times the potential to mitigate greenhouse gases compared to light road transport which electric vehicles aim to address. The ability of plant-based foods to mitigate climate change is supported by the IPCC, which said in 2022 that the greatest shift potential would come from switching to plant-based diets. Further, they said, emerging technologies such as cellular fermentation, cultured meat, plant-based alternatives to animal-based food products, and controlled environment agriculture can bring substantial reduction in direct greenhouse gas emissions from food production. Plant-based materials have benefits as well. 
The Sustainable Apparel Coalition reported in their HIG Material Sustainability Index that pound for pound, plant-based materials have over double the greenhouse gas mitigation potential of wool, silk, and cow leather. Inside the EatV Fund, we hold plant-based innovation companies exhibiting high growth potential and that are currently selling at low prices. There's an opportunity now to capitalize on market conditions that have lowered prices. As part of our strategy, we first examine key financial metrics such as revenue growth and cash flow, and in addition consider factors such as competitive advantage and market trends. This comprehensive approach means we invest in companies that exhibit growth potential. Fund companies have high revenue growth and are increasing sales faster than the companies in the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100 indexes. When we look at EatV, we see a 39.8% revenue growth rate, as compared to 9.4 and 8.3% for the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100 indexes, respectively. Finally, in terms of value metrics, such as enterprise value to sales, which is similar to price to sales, but it's meant to be more comprehensive and take into account debt and cash reserves, the companies in the fund are selling at a discount, with enterprise value to sales, price to sales, and price to book ratios lower or equivalent to the S&P 500 and NASDAQ indexes. This also includes a lower price to earnings ratio. Per the chart, we see EAT V is lower equivalent to these across the board. As we saw earlier, EAT V has a number of holdings that are also small cap. In addition, EAT V brings to the table the focus on plant-based innovation and sustainable climate companies for upside and impact. In other words, EAT V companies are undervalued and potentially offer the opportunity for upside as the market turns. In addition, EATV's small cap exposure and stats make it a good alternative to the Russell 2000. We see this as an opportunity that won't last forever. The EATV investment methodology employs a systematic approach to weighing companies, analyzing performance data to assign weights to companies in order to seek alpha. Our trend following strategy first identifies and weighs stocks to capitalize on the continuance of existing market trends with a complementary drawdown risk mitigation step aimed at minimizing portfolio loss during downturns. The methodology mixes these strategies that balance growth and risk exposure, aiming for long-term growth of capital. The price trend following component may help with upside during a stronger economy. In recent reporting periods, the EAT V Fund demonstrated strong and resilient performance, outpacing the S&P Global Eco Index in the three-month six-month, nine-month, year-to-date, and one-year annualized periods. Indexes such as the Russell 2000 or S&P 500 are well-known benchmarks. However, these do not specifically target plant-based innovation and sustainable climate companies like the EatV Fund does. They are not impact-focused. This unique focus positions EatV as an attractive option or supplementary investment for those seeking to diversify their small-cap portfolio while also aligning with sustainability and innovation initiatives. As mentioned earlier, the fund is certified as carbon neutral and is aligned with avoiding a two degree centigrade global increase in temperature. By investing in EATV, investors contribute to a global shift towards significantly reducing emissions. This alignment is crucial as it helps mitigate extreme weather events, rising sea levels and food shortages, as well as regulatory and legal risks for companies in the fund particularly as governments worldwide enforce more stringent climate policies. In contrast, the S&P 500 index is currently on track for a 3.87 degrees centigrade increase in global temperature, which could affect companies' regulatory and legal risks when they do business overseas. For example, the EU, the UK, or China may tax carbon emissions or ban the sale of certain products that contribute to climate change. How can EATV enhance your portfolio? In comparison to large cap and market cap weighted U.S. indices, the EATV Fund's multi-cap exposure to global plant-based innovation enables the fund to capitalize on the increasing demand for sustainable food and materials. An advantage of investing in small cap and mid-cap companies through EATV is the potential for growth during an upturn. These smaller firms often operate in specialized markets or possess unique technologies granting them a competitive advantage and the capacity to rapidly expand during economic upswings. 
By incorporating global companies at various stages of the supply chain, the EV Fund aims to harness the growth potential of these smaller players while also diversifying risks across multiple market segments. The EV Fund's emphasis on small and mid-cap companies positions it as a complement or alternative to the Russell 2000 Index. By integrating a focus on innovative sectors and climate-positive firms, the EV Fund offers a diversified and targeted approach to seize the growth potential of small but diverse companies that are part of the ETF. EATV, in fact, offers unique diversification, holding companies not found in major indices like the S&P 500 or Russell, all with impact potential. EATV can be easily acquired through a variety of popular brokers, including Fidelity, Charles Schwab, Merrill Edge, and Robinhood. Unlike a mutual fund, EATV operates similarly to a stock, allowing you to place either market orders or limit orders where you can set your preferred price. Of course, Please reach out to me personally at sasha at vegtechinvest.com if you would like any guidance on executing a trade efficiently. EV represents a diversified portfolio of high growth global equities focused on plant-based innovation. This is a foundational element of the global food and material systems transformation, moving towards greater efficiency and sustainability while seeking long-term capital growth and alpha. Investors can invest in the transformation of the food and material system through a performance-oriented strategy. The fund is carbon neutral without relying on carbon credits, which can be meaningful and bring down your portfolio's carbon footprint. EATV serves as a complementary investment to large cap funds and an alternative to traditional small cap indices like the Russell 2000. We are a boutique investment firm focused on impact investing in the food system shift and are happy to help you if you're interested in setting up a time to discuss, please let me know. I can always be reached at sasha at vegtechinvest.com, and thank you for your time.